Defined Environment, Science and Technology, and Environmental Policy. So let's start off with environment. What do we mean by environment? According to Miriam Woodster 2020, the complex physical, chemical, and biotic factors such as climate, soil, and living things that act upon an organism or an ecological community and ultimately determine its form and survival. Basically, the way I define environment as long as you will mention biotic and abiotic factors that interacts and has an interrelationship to each other. That's environment. Another definition of environment that I heard a lot of times, many times, in layman's term, when we say environment, it's actually anything that is outside your skin. That's environment. Also, trivia. The first known use of environment was actually in 1927. Imagine, 1927, sorry, 2020. That's like 90 something years, almost 100 years. Can you imagine? All right, yeah, anyway. All right, before we define science and technology, let's define science first. According to Oxford, Reference 2020, science encompasses systematic study of structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. Basically, science is based on fact and principle. It started with an idea, a hypothesis, an experiment. It evolved into a theory, and if that theory is correct and acceptable, then it would evolve now into principle. So science basically is a systematic process which is based on fact and principle. When we say technology, basically technology is an application of science or an application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes. That's why technology is created or we try to invent something with an application of science to create a technology to make our life easy, to make our life better. That's basically science and technology. All right, what do we mean by environmental policy? According to Buren 2011, environmental policy is actually any measure by a government or corporation or other public or private organization which regards to the effect of human activities in the environment, especially those measures that are designed to prevent or reduce harmful effects of human activities to the environment or to the ecosystem. Environmental policies are actually needed because valuing environment are usually not considered in, in government or organization decision making. There are actually a um, few reasons why environmental policy is being omitted when it comes to decision making. First, environmental effects are actually considered as economic externalities. For example, polluters doesn't usually bear the consequences of their actions. Usually the one that bears it are the people that are being affected or specifically in a certain area. Usually it's negative effects often occurs elsewhere or often occurs not on real time but in the future. So basically polluters does not bear the consequences. Second reason is natural resources are often assumed as an infinite resource and usually it is underpriced. Let me give you an example. Are you familiar with Garrett Hardeen's Tragedy of the Commons? in which the resource is considered as common to everyone since it's a public resource and everyone are free to use this common resource for their own benefits. As an individual, a certain person can use this common resource since it is free without considering its limitations. But because of that self-interest behavior, it can actually lead to a depletion of shared limited resource. And actually that is not everybody's interest like most people would not care as long as this is free i want to use it use it use it and use it i would not care for any limitations in which individuals will reap its benefits in a short term but in the long run if the common resource depletes it's actually the whole community that will pay for it it's actually the whole community will be affected by that resource depletion 
in which environmental policies are being created by governments or organizations for them to force individuals to use the common resource sustainably and, of course, to protect the commons or the common resource. All right, so that is environment, that's science, that's science and technology, and that is environmental policy.